Architectural Builder Supply is pleased to present you with this recording of the technical question that is listed in the title of this video. This call may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance. As, as we went out and talked to end users, mainly schools, universities, government facilities, you know, they all have to go through these lockdown drills now. And, you know, the feedback is that they can't get to the doors either fast enough or get them locked down fast enough. Um, and that they couldn't, you know, not all these facilities can afford, uh, you know, these, these electronic dogging systems that they can put throughout their facilities. So <clears throat> we, we started looking at some options out there for how do we develop something that can aid in quick lockdown. So that's kind of the premise. It was actually invented by a couple of uh, locksmiths at Indiana State University. So there's uh, there's probably five or six hundred of them out there uh, currently on campus, and then we've got some more facilities that uh, that have them on now. Um, but ultimately, you know, it was that that's the the premise of the design is to aid facilities, schools in in getting their their doors locked down in the event of in, in the event of an emergency. Yeah, no special knowledge. Um, exactly. Yep. The what. Indiana with um, can't bring is that at all a problem? Say, say that one more time. Can't bring. Uh, you know, do students just go up and it, or, or most people just generally ignorant as to it being there? Yeah, you know, it's it's pretty interesting because that's usually the first question that facilities say is it can't. You know, the kids or 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 somebody just go and lock them down, and the general feedback from administrators has been, you know, that's the least of our worries. The people who need to get in have keys. It's yeah. it's in the event that we have to lock down quickly. That's where the, the urgency is. Um, so it's been surprising. We're actually, uh, we just got specified um, uh, on three phases at Long Beach uh, City College. And, and it's interesting because the... <clears throat> The president of the college wants us to, to make a sign to go on the doors that actually points out that there's a lockdown device on that door so that people know about it and that it's, you know, everybody's aware of what it is and what it's used for. And then other facilities say, no, you know what, we just want the button. The teachers will know about it and, uh, you know, the administrators, the janitors, everybody else will know and then that'll be good enough. So it's pretty interesting that the, the different mentalities of uh, the different facilities. Yeah, and you know, while special knowledge is not required, special knowledge, is, you know, having an awareness of it actually being there. No, no kid is going to look at an end cap and say, I'm going to play. You know, yeah. They're going to look. So I'm sure I'm sure the kids will find it, you know, and, and hit the button. But, you know, that's, again, the, the, the folks that need to get in will have keys. Yeah, yeah, right, exactly. And, um you know, and there's other hardware that can mitigate that sort of problem. Uh, you know, there's, um, you know, meaning there's cameras. Uh, you know, they really want someone tampering with yeah. the door. Those sorts of doors are probably going to be nice if they don't already have cameras. Yeah, I mean, that's a great point. I didn't think about that. Um, well, true to Trimco design, it seems as if it has very excellent fit and, uh, fit and finish, I like to say. Um so right now, this is uh, available for 99, 98 series devices? Correct, yeah, and it, it, it'll on. work on the, the 33, 35. Um, we've got prototypes that... Uh, oh, okay, so 33, 35, 98, 99s. Yep, yep. Got it. And it'll work on cylinder or hex dogging. Um, we've got a couple add-on kits that go along with it, so if it's a 48-inch device, we've got a kit. Um, kind of an add-on kit for that because you need longer, uh, longer rod and right. tube. And then for the pre-1997 manufactured devices, it, those had a different cam for the um, for the dogging mechanism. So we've got a a kit for that as well. That's awesome. Um, yeah, I see. You know, this being a relatively simple thing for you guys to be able to process. You know, you've got your base unit. You can either change the price and include that funky cam for a pre-1997 
or you can have an extra line item for it in then the detail as well. You either opt in, you know, required, not required. Yeah. And the way we have it set up right now is 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 there a, there a service part so you can order that separately um, as a separate line item. Um, I don't know. I, you know, we may run into facilities who say I want that every time I order. So, you know, we can accommodate that as well. Mm. Yeah, that's tremendous. I, um, I'm really glad you sent this uh, and this conversation. I'm going to make a – I'm going to do some additional research um, uh, with a device specifically and uh, go through the installation process of slapping one on and create a video of that, at least for my own yeah. purpose. And, Good. Uh, I mean, we're, we've, we're a big fan of all the videos that you put online. That's why we wanted to get it to you. We do have two YouTube videos. Um, I don't know if you've seen those, but if you go to our website, there's a section for Lockdown Hardware, or you can go straight to YouTube and just uh, go Trimco Lockdown Hardware. One's, oh, a, gotcha. one's, a, one's a simple quick how does it function, so it's just a functionality video. And then the second one is about a four-minute four installation video. And it walks through all the steps, and it, literally, that's it, once you do it once, it only takes you about four minutes to retrofit these. Very, yeah, right. very quick. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, yeah. The first one's always the. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's great, Adam. I uh, I love it, and you know, please, you know, set up a set up a, a mail list if you don't have one. For, keep the keep the new announcement some way of products because when you're sitting there busy with a 10 hour a day job anyway it's hard to just say okay i'm going to go look out and see what's new now yeah no i get it i understand yeah um that's one thing you know i, I don't know how much you know about kind of the the, the trim co of today um, my business partner and i uh, bought in about three years ago um so the simon family owned it they're still you know martin simon great man he's still a partner in the business um, we recently, I'm sure you guys felt some pain from us, but we recently moved out of Los Angeles into a new facility in Oceanside, California, and it was it was out of necessity. We had to get out of L.A. I mean, the the, the regulations and the audits, it, it was it was mind numbing how much we had to go through up there. Oceanside's been very good as far as uh, a business partner and, and uh, supporting us in, in the business overall. But we did have some pain points with the move. Um, we are definitely getting back to uh, to where we used to be. Um, I'd say we're not all the way there yet, but we're getting close. Um, so it's a big focus for us to get, to get back to that point. And now we get to focus on the fun stuff, which is, you know, actually coming up with these cool new uh, – Solutions for products, and we've got uh, we've got the lockdown hardware and process for Dorma and for Precision. Um, so we got prototypes being built by our engineering team right now, and then we'll move on to uh, one or two of the uh, the ASA devices. Um, and then we've got some other really cool stuff in, in development too. So uh, one thing we do have to do is figure out how to better commercialize. I mean, to your point, how do we better commercialize? people know about all the, the cool stuff that we have because there's there's even things that we've had in years that most people don't know about of, of, of getting those out there well yeah but uh, in terms of how do we better market but it is a failure of the entire door hardware industry marketing you know when you think about just think about the maker wholesalers and Trinco doesn't have a lot of stuff in, in stock and wholesale for the, the reasons that you and I could discuss it. We don't need to. But think of the hundreds of millions of dollars of inventory that's locked up on shelves that yeah. really isn't marketed properly. Um, yeah. And it's, you know, th there's only so much, There's o the pizza's only so big. And Trimco says, well, I know I'm going to get my slice, but Trimco might say, eh, you know what, I want I want more of a slice. I want I want a bigger piece. And since that pizza is finite, so to speak, um, marketing will separate us. Uh, yeah. I have I have seen success in making videos, and I I think my opinion because what's happening, what has been happening, if you type in a part, um, if there is a video that exists 
my video, not my video, but a video will come up, a YouTube video will come up sometimes pretty like we are as well. The site doesn't come up with that video. Yeah. That'll get you into a place that you're in real good shape. In yeah. My, you know, in my opinion, Trimco, well, it's not so true with Trimco, but Trimco isn't selling the hardware. Trimco is because stuff that I get from from you all every time, the fit and finish is superior. And one thing I say in a video that I'll do with Trimco, the lead time is XYZ because they're a manufacturer. They make things to order. I'll order yeah. accordingly, and I always, I almost say the material from Trimco is always well worth the wait. The uh, but what ha but what you're selling in addition to the quality of the material is the service. You know? Yeah. It's you know, like someone like us, we need three things. We need an order confirmation. Number one. We're doing need an estimate. And then the last thing we need is a tracking server. <laughs> That's all. You know, it's super simple. And and you know, and, and everybody focusing on just supplying the client things and where you quality is in my opinion measurably greater than others, you guys are going to dominate. Yeah. Well and, that's know. good to hear. I like I like you know, we like the feedback both good good and, and constructive when uh when uh when we need to improve and you know there's certainly things that we need to improve upon. And I I'll tell you Richard, when when Jason and I stepped into the business, the the beautiful thing about Trimco was exactly that. We didn't have to fix a brand image we didn't have to fix product that was bad you know th those are the things that take a long long time for for to, to correct we had to correct marketing we had to get a new website and we've done you know get 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 our pricing in in order on the the common stuff and that's the easy things and, and i think we've done a good job of doing that in a, in a short time frame and now we get to go really kind of have fun with, with new products and and developing things and you know if you if if you're up uh you know willing to to help i mean we'd like to pull you into some of those new products early on in the process to get feedback from you because you know we can come up with the coolest the coolest thing out there but if it doesn't meet a specific need or or people don't see the value in it um it doesn't do anybody any good yeah taking perspective of the locksmith at isu is crucial i mean you know you're so far in the forest, you don't see the trees. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's that's. <laughs> that's and, yeah, and then finally, we got our head thing, down. Well, you, you do, you, you're, and you're plowing through it. Um, yeah. The you know the ultimate issue where I see Trimco being different than others is that don't count on Trimco all the time to get it out tomorrow, even though. A lot of the times that we would call historically, uh, putting the bumps on the road outside, there have been rabbits produced out of hats for us, for, for everybody. But I yeah. think what we to do is realize or, or, or to die, and, you know, because and in personal extent, and finding that spot. And, and maybe not giving into the whatchamacallit. If I'm going to order some 1661 bars, sell that, man. They're all, I think those should always be made to work. They, they, I mean, you know, you know, taking over the world on, on stuff that has a lot of flavor. And yeah. you know, the lead time's the lead time. Order, you know, order accordingly and, and not try to erode away your and ultimately erode away other facets of what good and case for Trimco by trying to account to a bunch of knuckleheads, which is really only 10% of the marketplace, but stuff not being ordered on time. And yeah. You have a you have a quality, and Rockwood is exceptional. Uh, everybody else is really good, but the one, like, what, like what's the difference between neoprene, silicone, and polyurethane and vinyl? Okay, I can tell you the one thing that makes all them different. The one thing that makes Trimco different than everybody else is that exceptional quality that Rockwood's really great all around, but the, but focusing on what uh, Trimbo does, I think should maintain should be maintained as you know what our material is well worth the wait because when you get it, you're going to smell the brass polish and pull that paper off. Yeah, 
Yeah. That's well, I wish everybody thought the that. way you did. <laughs> well, you know what it is. I'm 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 not making it up. I've 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 taken I've cut the box open. I've taken it out. I looked at it. I says now that that's what I would put on the front of the Field Museum in Chicago. That's yeah. That's the good stuff right there. And 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 when you get it from other people, that's the most good stuff too. Some reason the cereal makes me want to just eat a big chocolate cheesecake. Like man, you just <laughs> eat it. And anyway, yeah. so and, and I'm not. I realize it sounds a bit, you know, preposterous to say those things, but that's my physiological reaction when I look at Trimco material. Yeah, so good. I, I, you know, ignore some of the chatter that will take you off of Mission One being quality, because there's always going to be someone that's going to want to buy an imported item. What those all those guys do, the Cal Royals of the world, who are, by the way, they. It's hard for them to differentiate themselves because they don't have that fit and finish. Surely that's greater details. They must yeah. rely on service where you guys can say, well, our service is good, but our product is going to be better than everybody else, period, end of sentence. And that, I think that one-two punch is going to be great for you guys. Yeah, no, appreciate that. And, and, and we, we feel the same way. Martin Simon, who's, who's our other partner, he, he's got a card, and it says, um, price, service, and quality. Pick two, yeah, pick two right? Because you can't quality. have all three. You can't no. have all three. It just doesn't it doesn't work that way. Yeah, and and our our situation is we're trying to focus on that as well. The problem that we have is someone can buy something from us that they can buy from a hundred other people, and we really have to differentiate based on service. Yeah. Um, and, and, and so cool. I'm, I'm really glad that you called this. Uh, Incredibly yeah, no, me, me too. And, and just as a closing thought, I mean, as we look at new opportunities, and you, you, I, I think you, you hit the nail on the head with a piece of pie, right? The pie or the pie. The pie doesn't grow normally. No. So it's how do you get more of it? We have some new products. Um, uh, you know, lockdown hardware being one of them. We've got identity hardware. We've got um, uh, healthy hardware, which is our antimicrobial copper alloy line. These, these. These types of products um, help to expand the pie, right? It's new new dollars to go after. It's new solutions in the market. And, uh, you know, we're talking to new people. So instead of talking to facilities people all the time, we're talking to marketing folks, you know? The marketing budget is a heck of a lot bigger than, you know, the facilities budget. We just did a, a really nice job with Coca-Cola. Architectural Builders Supply hopes you have enjoyed this program.